Sorry. Thank you. Hi Andy, hope you're good. Uh, I just wanted to say a massive congratulations on all that you've done. When you score a goal, uh, it's a really nice moment, but it makes it even more special knowing what you're doing. For you to stay motivated throughout the whole season is amazing and um, it's going to benefit a lot of people. I'm very sorry I couldn't see you today, but me and the club have arranged a very special surprise for you. Thank you for inspiring us all. Your dad will be so proud of you. Up the cherries and look forward to seeing you soon. <laughs> what a legend. No, I love that. Obviously, it's amazing to uh, get a message from Dom. Um, something so personal as well. Um, and to, to kind of be inspiring to him and, and the team is, is pretty special. So, I'm Andy, uh, been a Bournemouth fan for 20 plus years or so, and went with my dad from, from a young age the whole way through. And so at the moment, I'm running a marathon for every time Dom Solanke scores a goal. So raising that for Cancer Research UK. And so far we've raised um, 7,300 pounds, which has been amazing. Um, so 14 marathons in for, for Dom's goal. So we've got one more left to do, um, which is gonna be in June. Um, and then however many more he scores at the end of the season. And the reason for the challenge is my dad was sadly diagnosed with cancer early last year. And I was trying to find a sort of a challenge for me to do, to raise some money for, for Cancer Research UK. And I thought of a few different ideas, um, but this one kind of stuck out in my head as, as being different and I hadn't seen it before anywhere. Um, so I felt that it'd be a good challenge to do and, and challenge me myself and, and hopefully raise some, some money for, for a great charity. I guess, memory, um, being a memory for, for, for my dad as well and people uh, bringing back some good memories of, of dad. Yeah, so he was diagnosed in January 2020. Um, so went through a battle there and, and had, I think, two or three rounds of chemo and it looked to be, to be positive. Um, there are signs of improvement, but uh, we unfortunately got some, some bad news around August time, 2020, that he was unfortunately terminal and there was nothing they could do about it. So that was when the challenge kind of came about. I thought at that moment I had to do something and really that was then. Um, and dad sadly passed away in November of last year. So he got to see me do a few of the runs. He'd been supporting them since he was very young. His dad took him, I think when he was five or six and he'd been a season ticket holder ever since then, traveling home and away. Um, I think he'd pretty much been to every ground in the country watching, watching Bournemouth play. So yeah, huge Sherry's fan. The amount of people that would come up to him at games always amazed me. Like it felt like every other game was somebody else coming up to him and saying hello. So I think everybody loved him and kind of knew, knew of him and knew how great a person he was. Um, in terms of kind of memories, I guess, playing football in the back garden with him, um, going on holidays with family were, were amazing. And then I think we've had some of the best times actually here at the club. Um, the league, well, Division three playoff final now at, at the Millennium Stadium we beat Lincoln was, was memorable. Um, the great escape and obviously the promotion and the rise up to the Premier League. Um, and that's something that I'll always be grateful for is that we were able to, to watch Bournemouth play in the Premier League together and, and see some amazing, amazing games. We spoke about it a few times when I first said the challenge. He, he said I was mad and, and, and crazy, but I think he, he really appreciated and, and understood, I guess, the reason why I was doing it. And, and he said to me after them that, that he was proud of me and he was amazed that the response that he, or that I was getting for the challenge and, and some of the messages that were come, coming in for him. I think the messages, well, first and foremost, I know that it's, I've got a reason behind it. So, so for dad, that's, that's the main thing. Secondly, the, the messages of support from, from everyone. The Bournemouth fans have been amazing. Um, the club's been amazing and, and then the donations, what's coming in um, has far exceeded whatever thought we, we'd raised. So, so seeing those come in whilst I'm out running and seeing them appear on my watch keeps me going when I'm, when I'm pounding the streets. Yeah, so I had appendicitis um, in November, which took up a few weeks. Actually, the first thing I said to the doctor when I was in hospital was, when will I be able to run again? And he kind of laughed and said, oh, why do you need to do that? And I explained to him and he said, 
probably four, four to five weeks, you'll be able to do some light running. Well, Dom then scored two against, I think it was Reading, about a week after having my appendix out. And two weeks later, I did, I did marathon. Um, so I kind of ignored his advice, but, but I felt okay. Um, I saw a donation to come in. Whenever that comes in, I immediately look and see the, the amount and who it was from, so I could sort of reply to them. And I just saw 500 and I thought, oh, someone must have made a mistake here. I think they may have put an extra zero on it. And then I, I looked in and I saw that it was from Dom and, and the message that he put on there. And yeah, when I said it to my mum, there were a few tears and, and she couldn't believe it. And I think it was more just a shock and wow, it's actually kind of Dom's seen it and, and this is amazing. So yeah, it was emotional to see that, that Dom had, had donated and, and such a, an amazing amount as well. There's that split second of like panic, of like, oh no. How are we doing? Hi, okay? Oh, wow. Congratulations. Thank you ever so much. Sure. Oh, incredible. Thank you ever so much. We could be doing two marathons then this weekend. Would yeah, we could be. Thank you, I'll appreciate that. Really. And all for excellent cause as well. Yeah, no, appreciate that. Well, your last one was Millwall. Millwall, yeah. So when did you run then? I just run around the area. What, on your watch? Just wait till you get I'll, to... I'll kind of plot a, a route. Yeah. And then wherever, oh my God. and just see how it goes. It's and just run. Really that. So what do you want? Do you want John Dom to score then, or no? Well, maybe Last not. Game. Maybe not tomorrow. Four goals. <laughs> four games, four goals. He, he can save him for the playoffs, I'd say. Yeah, same. Same. Well, well, congratulations. <laughs> no, thank you. No, I mean the club's been amazing. Everything they've done. Yeah. So. They've been fantastic in here as well. So yeah. no doubt they'll be really good. No, but well done. No, thank you so much. No, I really appreciate that as well. Um, yeah, it's an amazing surprise. Uh, something that, that I didn't expect and I was thinking myself of, of trying to of maybe buying one and, and getting something printed up myself but, but that's uh, an amazing surprise that the club have done for me um, so everyone involved can't thank them enough for that. Where it's going to go I, I don't know I'll have to try and find some space somewhere um, I'm not sure my other half will be too happy about it and if I put it in the bedroom but uh, I think that's where it'll probably go. So just finally I want to say a massive thank you to, to everyone that has helped um, with the challenge in terms of spreading the word, sharing everything on social media, um, donating and obviously the club. And then also a few thank yous to Danny Thomas Coaching Academy who has provided me with some kit during the challenge, which has been amazing. And without that, I wouldn't have been able to complete my challenges. To Sharon who has provided some sports massages to keep my legs in as, as good as possible shape as, as they can be. Um, and then finally to iPro who have supplied me some drinks for my final marathon in, in June. So a big thank you to all of those. Um, but yeah, if people want to donate, they can do. Um, the link is uh, justgiving.co.uk forward slash fundraising forward slash Dom scores we run.